Well, the amounts are usually based on the percent daily value or the daily value that is recommended by the FDA. The daily value of calcium is 1,000 milligrams a day, whereas the daily value of vitamin D is at 400 international units. Depending on your age and whether or not you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you may be right at 100% of that, per that daily value, or you may be a little bit more or even a little bit less than that. For children and adolescents, usually in the range of 9 to 18 years, they need, over, uh, they need about 130% of the daily value or about 1,300 milligrams of the calcium. And vitamin D, they need about 150% of that daily value or about 600 international units. For adults, the calcium for a 19 to 50 year old is right at 100% of that daily value or 1,000 milligrams. And the vitamin D is about 100% of the daily value, but can go up as much as 200%. Over 50 years of age, your calcium needs go up to 120% or 1,200 milligrams. And your vitamin D again has a range that can be as high as 200% of the daily value or about, about 800 international units. Pregnant and breastfeeding women, a young person under the age of 19, again has 130% of the daily value and 100% of the daily value if you are 19 to 50 years of age. Your vitamin D is up again at 150%. So there is a wide range. Some of the differences in vitamin D based on uh, the ages for the older adults is because as adults age, our ability to synthesize vitamin D in the skin can decrease. Additionally, there may be some losses of vitamin D that have already occurred or calcium that has already occurred. And so we are needing to build bone at a higher rate or try to rebuild the bone. Um, but adults over the age of 65 can produce four times less vitamin D in the skin compared with adults between 20 and 30 years of age. So the needs for vitamin D may increase as we are older for a variety of reasons, possibly because of medications that we are on, possibly because of uh, some of our other chronic diseases or illnesses that we have that are increasing some of our requirements or causing us to absorb and utilize nutrients less effectively.